Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Alright, so here he is, one of a handful of two division champions in UFC history. This might be the most handsome guy on the roster, Daniel Cormier, back to the proven ground here tonight. And he's got the body of a goddess. Look, <laughs> look at this guy as he walks to the octagon. Phenomenal wrestler, Olympian, a page of accolades that are unmatched by anyone in the UFC. <laughs> two division champion, phenomenal striker, just the best wrestler the UFC's ever seen. And look at that hairline. Has this guy been visiting the bronze barber? Because it seems to be growing in reverse. You got the best skin fade in the business. Actually, his parents wanted to name him Adonis Cormier. They felt like <laughs> DC sounded better than AC. But joking aside, this is one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. You are that. Your future's in the Hall of Fame. But you got a big one in front of you here tonight. It's going to be a big fight. But I expect Daniel Cormier to get his hands uh -huh. raised. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 22 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, USA, Daniel D.C. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is not the type of grappler in his UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Nice stupid punch. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. 
big kick land. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back and just truly makes up the target. Sight to behold. Awesome. Nice boxing chop there from Daniel Cormier. We talked so much about the wrestling. Don't sleep on those hands. Yeah, but it's because of the wrestling that allows these guys, especially a guy like DC, who's shorter, to manage distance and manage space in the strikes. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Big right hand. Some real power shots here. Oh, he lands a huge right hand. Oh, what a head kick. Both guys landing with conviction now. Boom, big jab. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh! for the end of round one. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of time. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Cormier's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! Out of range with that kick attempt. defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end of this one. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking it. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Oh, nice high kick. Change that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, nice combination of kicks once again. And both guys really throwing with authority. Cormier gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. That one appeared to stun him. What a fantastic strike 
to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. 20 seconds to go round two. Let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched in the fight. It's been so close. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Powerful leg kick lands. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, my goodness. Oh! Oh, straight right. Right hand upstairs. Defense there, the hook shot is flying. Oh! Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Back to the feet! Right hand there. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory that could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called to stop this contest at three minutes, two seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And gotta be nice Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon.